This video is just going to be stuffed full of data science courses that are free. So let's get going. Google and Microsoft. Both Google and Microsoft have learning platforms and they have courses on loads of different uh, computer science and data science topics. Admittedly, a lot of them are tailored towards their cloud platforms, but there are some nice little gems in there. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. I'm just popping out to get some tea bags because they've all gone. Um, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about Kaggle before I do that. Now you need to know about Kaggle for two reasons. First of all, they have a great range of courses on Python and Pandas and other skills that you're going to need to learn for data science. But they also have projects on there that you can work your way through. So you can follow projects that other people have done all the way through and learn how to do an end-to-end -end project. It's really good. Make sure you take a look at it. So that's Google, Microsoft and Kaggle. Uh, go and check those out, they've got some great courses there, there are links in the description. MIT have put so much of their stuff online and there's a statistics course that I've linked to by John Goodag. That's going to teach you a lot of statistical concepts that you're going to need to know. So I got the tea bags and uh, some biscuits, you know, because, well, I like biscuits. Okay, let's go. So there are a few other courses that I want to share with you. Uh, one is from Free Code Camp. I think it's called Data Analytics with Python. There's a link in the description. That's really good and it's free, of course. Um, Stephen Skeener is a lecturer at, um, where is it now? Stony Brook University in New York. He's put his entire master's course onto YouTube. Uh, that really doesn't come up in many of the searches, so take a look at that. There's one more, Earth Data Science. Now, earthdatascience.org has lots of tutorials for doing data science. Don't be put off that it's Earth Data Science and you might not want to do Earth Data Science because all of the methods that you can learn on most of them can be applied in any data science. Now, if you want to learn data science or coding or any other STEM subject for that matter, then you should take a closer look at today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a great choice because it focuses on learning by doing. It's very interactive. I like it because it completely fits around my life. You can open up the interactive learning platform at a time to suit you and get learning straight away. You learn by doing. Just imagine trying to learn, for example, the ukulele without touching a ukulele. You're not likely to be successful. And it's the same with STEM subjects. You have to do it. Answer questions, have your understanding challenged a little, apply knowledge to problem solve if you want to learn properly. And Brilliant ensures that's what you do. It's great for learning STEM topics. I find it particularly useful for the maths related to data science. Whenever I need a refresher on something, I go straight to Brilliant. Go and take a look and see what you think. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or click on the link in the description. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? Go and take a look. I have a few more resources that I'd like to share with you. Um, the first one is from Professor Tom Monks. He is a lecturer at the University of Exeter in the UK. And one of the modules that he teaches is the MSc in Health Data Science. And he's created a website, it's pythonhealthdatascience.com. And it teaches the basics, uh, it's sort of introduction to data science using Python. The other thing that you're going to need to learn if you want to work with data is SQL, SQL. Uh, it's really important when you're working with data to know that. And most data jobs would require some knowledge of SQL. A really good place to learn it is I can never remember whether it's Easy SQL or SQL Easy. It's SQL Easy, so sql-easy.com. Uh, it will teach you SQL for free, so go and take a look at that. And finally, uh, if you're learning to work with data using Python, you're going to need to learn Pandas. Pandas is a package that is essential for working with data using Python. And I would like to point you to the documentation. There are loads of Pandas courses and some of them are very good. And I've, I've covered them on this channel and I will be covering more. But the Pandas documentation 
is an excellent resource and it explains the pandas functions and how pandas works really well. It also gets you into the mindset and the habit of reading documentation, which is extremely important if you're going to do this seriously and professionally. Uh, so make sure that you take a look at the pandas documentation. I've linked to the specific page that I think is the best place to start uh, in the description. And as Columbo might say, just one more thing. It's really important to remember that courses won't get you a job. What will get you a job is projects that you've worked on outside of the course. Use the knowledge that you acquire from the learning materials that I've shared with you to work on projects where you answer specific questions. Come up with a question and answer it using your skills and data. That's what will get you a job.